Okay, so looking at melody, you're going to go to the end of this one um, through the next few weeks because it repeats a few sections, doesn't it? Um, and then I suggested maybe just picking out a few little bits, such as the second bar. The hands are doing, doing quite independent movements there. All right, they're very separate melodies. So that could take a little bit of work. Uh, you might want to copy that fingering in. It comes three times in this music, so each time it comes, put the fingering in. Might be an idea. Then the last bar of the first line. Make sure you'll get a nice join in that left hand there. Okay, and maybe the last two bars on the second line as well. Got some tricky fingering work here and holding this top note. Okay, now I've just um, made an alteration in the music. I'm putting a little comma at the end of that. There's a diminuendo, so I think it, it, adds, it lends itself to just lifting it a little bit and doing a tiny break at there, just a little comma. If you do it gently, then you go back to the first melody. Um, so that means I've changed the fingering. That first chord in bar nine is now five and three, which eliminates all this sort of f funny fingering in that bar. I don't quite understand that. Just use this fingering, which then matches the first bar. Okay, now we've got a new section here, all right? There's similarities in that you've got that descending nine, but just like in your exercise that I've given you, you've got one of these five comes under the four things. All right, so there's where we use it. Okay, so have a look at that. Left hand isn't the same as the previous line, it's different. Take the thumb to G. Okay, so um, in this bar here, put five and one then five and two, all right. Any other fingering we need to put in? Um, fourth line down, bar 14, third finger, bar 15, fifth finger, and then I've copied in that same fingering because it's that same bar as the second line. So I've copied the fingering in. Um, and again, I've copied the fingering in from the third line down to the bottom line where it repeats. So good idea because it's it does require a lot of careful finger work for this piece of music. If you get one finger wrong, it sort of throws the whole thing. So it's worth doing that. Um, so then let's just go from those last two bars again on line three. So put the finger under. Their fingers, the hand sort of crossing over slightly here. So take some time to practice that so you feel happy with that. Last bar isn't too bad. Then we've got repeat of line two. And then a repeat of line two again, continuing. to alter that to say five and three, four, three, two. Here's the finger coming under again. Right. So definitely that those last two bars. Make sure you're happy with the thumbs crossing over and the little finger coming over all at the same time. That's quite a tricky move there, so take it slowly, practice it, 